Gainesville City Commissioners are making budget cutting decisions and that may mean some residents have some difficulty getting to work. The Regional Transit System or RTS Citizens Advisory Board will be hearing about proposed fare hikes and route reductions in a public meeting tonight. WCGB's Dan Brightweiser reports one board member says the changes will hurt those who can least afford it. In an environment where every dollar counts, both RTS and bus riders are more cost conscious than ever. And the vice chair of the board says, to RTS, a few dollars won't make a big difference, but to the individual rider, it can be all the difference in the world. High gas prices are causing headaches for everyone. RTS officials say it's the biggest reason for their $1.5 million projected deficit next year, forcing them to propose higher fares and less frequent service. Obviously, uh, anything that they're going to charge more for less, nobody's going to like it, and I'm very concerned that this could greatly affect uh, public transportation ridership uh, with RTS. RTS proposes raising full fares by a quarter to $1.25 and half fares by a dime to 60 cents, about a 25% increase. But all day and monthly passes have a proposed hike of 50%, from $2 to $3 and from $30 to $45. Plus, RTS has proposed cutting the frequency of some routes on Saturdays and late nights. We want to minimize uh, the impact to the public. We want to continue to provide the quality service the public has come to expect from RTS. And we believe that we've come up with a plan that will do that. But Feldman says the proposed rate hike will not rake in the dollars. He estimates if ridership remains steady, it would raise fares as a revenue source for RTS from 6% to 9%, which is not much, he says, compared to the effects the cost will have on riders. We need to actually take the, the bus fare as it is now and decrease it. We don't need to increase it. This is just a step in the wrong direction. Feldman says he hopes the county or state and federal agencies could help make up some of the cost differences. The RTS Advisory Board meeting began just a few minutes ago at City Hall and lasts until 7.30. A proposal will be sent to the City Commission probably at their July 28th meeting. Dan Bright was there, WCJB, TV 20 News.